Welcome to a class on comparisons. I'm going to try to go into some more detail today about some things I haven't spoken much about. Now the first construction we'll look at is as adjective as which is used for when you're comparing two things which are equal in some way. So he is as tall as me. This is technically in my opinion incorrect although everybody says it. Um, and the problem is using an object pronoun here um, we should actually use the subject pronoun and then really I'm thinking about parallelism here the bottom uh, sentence he has he is as tall as I am is parallel it's equally weighted we have the he is and the I am and so they're equal he is I am they're both the verb to be they both have a pronoun and the verb to be and it's a very important topic for making sure your English sounds beautiful really um, I think parallelism they have in a lot of different languages not just English um, so I prefer the second version however you will hear this first version all the time um, it sounds more natural to say that and I think when there's no ambiguity we very often do just use the object pronoun um, so that's something to remember first of all that this one is better it's certainly better in formal situations any kind of formal essay use the parallel structure if you're with your friends just chatting don't worry about it so much um, okay so we use that for when we're making them equal but we also put this in negative sentences and if you read the grammar books such as Murphy or the advanced grammar such as Hewings, they both say that it's possible to say not so adjective as instead of the not as adjective as which I like and I actually believe this is wrong it doesn't sound good to me perhaps it's because it doesn't sound nice and parallel with so on one side of the adjective and as on the other side of the adjective but for me that would be much better not as adjective as I don't like that even though it's in the grammar books as correct and I suppose one reason I don't like it is that it's not possible in positive sentences and a second reason I don't like it is that if we say he isn't and we make the not quite silent he isn't it's contained in the isn't it really sounds wrong to me he isn't so tall as I am it sounds not parallel it sounds uh, incorrect in my opinion I certainly wouldn't use it in any formal writing and I certainly wouldn't say not so much as or not so many as or not so little as or not so few as um, all of those I would use as even if I had a not here and it's more uh, evidence for me that this is not an acceptable form but it is correct in many of the grammar books I should warn you so we use much with uncountable many with countable we use little with uncountable and few with countable um, so we use these for comparing quantities yeah um, he doesn't have as much free time as I do and notice I haven't put as me I've put as I do again because I'm thinking about parallelism um, so he doesn't have as much free time as I do yeah um, or we could say he doesn't have as many friends as I do or he doesn't have um, as few pens as I have yeah oh, sorry as, he, do, he doesn't have as few pens as I uh, as I do it's easy to make that mistake and he doesn't have as little um, energy as I do or something like that okay we can also compare things with as adjective noun as so it's not as good a restaurant as it used to be see with the as good and then the noun and then as and this noun will always be with an a it's an existential clause like such a which I've put here another existential clause um, and that means that we always use an a I can't think of a time when this sentence would have a noun with a the it's simply impossible it's an existential clause you're introducing the restaurant to the conversation so it's not as good a restaurant as it used to be or we could say he's not as patient a teacher as he once was perhaps we're talking about me who knows but he's not as patient a teacher as he once was now I don't like putting so in here but if you read Hewing's advanced grammar he says that it's possible to say he's not so patient a teacher as he once was I don't like it he also says it's possible to say he's not such a patient teacher 
as he once was and again I don't like it um, it doesn't sound uh, natural to me it sounds ugly it doesn't sound as good as the as as form okay we can also say no adjective than he's no better than I am for example he's no better than me in informal speech or he's no better than I am or we could say he isn't any worse than you are yeah he isn't any worse than you are um, and again, I certainly wouldn't put so anywhere, but I suppose we're not doing as as here. But he isn't any worse than you are. Okay, now we'll come up to come on to so and such. We use I've done another lesson on this, by the way. So please, I'll put it on here as a link. Please go to that lesson if you want more information. But we use so plus adjective full stop. That was so wonderful. That was so great. That was so awful but we use such plus a noun, even if it's got an adjective in between. So that was such a wonderful hotel. That was such a great holiday. Yeah, he was so wonderful. He was such a wonderful guitarist. So that's the difference between those two. And please remember, it's gonna always be a uh, after these kind of he was such a. Uh. Um, it will always be a, it's an existential clause. Okay, on to these uh, ordinary comparatives and superlatives. If we want to modify them and make them stronger or weaker, we can use slightly, barely, or a bit, meaning a little, you know, a bit stronger, um, or far, a lot, or much for a lot more stronger. So he has slightly better English than I do, we could say, or we could say he has far better English than I do. And it uh, modifies the meaning of that adjective. Um, we could also say he has fewer pens than I do and it must be fewer not less. Lots of mistakes here with less. Less is uncountable, fewer is countable and so he has fewer pens than I do but he has less time than I do. Okay? Um, we have very little milk because milk is uncountable or they have um, a much bigger house, they have um, a few more cars, whatever, if you're comparing in that kind of sense. Okay, and another th important thing to remember with comparisons is like versus as. Now I have another lesson on this and in that lesson I only really spoke about how we use these words informally because I told you uh, in that lesson that we can use like or as plus a clause. Well, I told you that because that's what we do when we speak. We very often say sentences like this, you look like you've seen a ghost. But actually, that's considered wrong in formal writing. You shouldn't use like before a clause in formal writing. You should use as before a clause. You should only use like with a noun. And so you look as if you've seen a ghost would be the correct version here. Um, so try to remember that as plus clause and like plus a noun because like is just a preposition. Um, I also read and it was on the Bristol University website something that I haven't seen before but which sounded correct to me. Um, if you're giving a list in a piece of formal writing it sounds much better to use such as and not like to mean for example OK, so look at this sentence. I'd love to go to countries. I'd love to go to exotic countries like Malaysia, Vietnam and Thailand. Now, in everyday speech, that's fine. That really is fine. But in formal writing, that's probably not the best option. You should probably take take away like, cross out like and add such as instead. I'd love to go to exotic countries such as Malaysia, Vietnam and Thailand. But I think like is fine in an informal kind of email to a friend, something like that. Okay, lastly, uh, two plus adjective for when you're saying that something is too hot or too cold or too much. Yeah, that's the point with two. It's, it's um, more than you can take. It's more than you can handle. Don't use so. I have very often people, very often people try to say so instead here and say this coffee is so hot, meaning too hot. And so hot just means very hot. Too hot means I can't drink it. It's too hot for me. Okay, and lastly, enough. Make sure it goes after adjectives, but before nouns. So, it's not hot enough, my coffee, or 
I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough patience, whatever it is. Okay, if you have any questions about any of these uh, rules, please write them under the video. I understand that this is not necessarily, even though I've given you some rules here, it's not necessarily how people use it. I know very often we use the object pronoun, and very often we do use like before the clause, as in, you look like you've seen a ghost. Um, so, uh, I understand that you might hear people using the language differently than what I've just said, but I'm trying to explain how it's used in formal situations and how you should use it in an exam. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Any questions at all, put them under the video and I hope to see you all soon.